All right, everybody, on today's episode of Pinchy Al's Garage, we're going to be installing a Stage 3 clutch on our VR6 Turbo build. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. So you're gonna need a 12.16 millimeter socket, okay? It has to be a 12 point. Um, because if you're gonna use these bolts, these go on at 70 foot pounds, no extra turns or anything like that. These are forged hardware. They're not factory stretch bolts. These are reusable flywheel bolts. So um, since we're doing a pretty much high horsepower VR6 build, we wanna support everything with proper hardware. So everything pretty much flows in harmony, especially with when you start doing, dumping a lot of torque on these motors, you want to make sure everything works flawlessly. So these bolts, um, you put in some blue Loctite, um, torque these down to 70 foot pounds and you're done. So let's get to work. So for the flywheel, we went with the spec uh, nine pound flywheel. Uh, this is a full billet flywheel for the VR6. And this thing is gnarly light. I mean, I can hold it with my bad hand with no issues. My good hand, I can hold it and it's like, look how light this thing is, ridiculous. So we put this on. Now, there are one, two of them that are kind of weird space. Now, these are, this is aluminum, guys. This is billet aluminum. This is pretty much as light as it gets for legit flywheels that you bolt on without buying like a, a twin disc. Um, there are better flywheels out there, um, but for this type of uh, build that we're doing, we're not trying to go crazy high horsepower, you know? Just rinse and repeat all the other bolts and let's get this done. All right, so now that we have all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bolts, just all the way down to the bottom, we now need to torque these at 70 foot pounds and that's it. We already have Loctite. We just gotta torque them down. Now, you need a way to prevent this from turning because the flywheel is gonna turn the engine. So we need to make sure we lock the back with a 27 millimeter bolt uh, socket uh, and tighten it down pretty snug. And then what we need to do is uh, find a spot to put a long breaker bar. And I'll show you guys what I mean. All my DIYs when I need a, um, to break loose or torque to spec flywheel, I always use the crank side uh, bolt to lock it in place and then do the rest. You guys can see over here but what I mean. So here's a 27 millimeter on the crank bolt and it's on a breaker, long breaker bar. So as we rotate it, what's gonna happen, this bar is gonna lock the rotation. And when that locks it, we're gonna be able to Torque this guy to spec. And now that we're here, I'm gonna start on this one. And we're gonna wait till it locks. That's one. Okay, so we need a way to mark this. Ooh. 
I use my cousin Sophia's uh, markers. So that's number one. Opposite, just like how you torque a torque down a wheel, we're gonna do the same way. Now that we have all ten, we are done. We are not gonna retorque them down. That's pretty much set in stone now. All 10 set to 70 foot pounds on my Craftsman breaker bar. That's already set to 70. So the next step here now is the clutch and pressure plate. And we gotta remove these uh, factory bolts here that came with it and reuse them for the pressure plate. So the next step is for the clutch and the alignment tool to go in, then the pressure plate, and then we torque the bolts around it. So we are using a stage three, pretty much uh, six puck clutch from spec. There we go, if you guys can see that. There are six pucks is because there's six actual pads. Okay, the protrusion portion faces out, the flat surface faces towards the flywheel, plain and simple. If you didn't, if you don't do that, uh, what's going to happen is that you're not, it's not going to sit flush correctly. And this, this clutch here is not like the exact diameter of the flywheel. So if you do not use your alignment tool properly, um, not like a stock Mark IV clutch where they just sit perfectly inside here and they meet flawlessly, it's not going to go on correctly, and you're going to have some issues down the road. This will not pretty much go in beautifully. So just pre-warning you guys a heads up, okay? So now you grab your pressure plate. And you wanna line it up with the pegs up here. Now, if they don't line up, then you rotate until you, until everything lines up to all the holes. So you use the pegs, there's three of them, one, two, three, and you count all six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. They all line up correctly. Grab your uh, hardware here. And I will only put one in there. Um, for this build, I'm gonna use blue Loctite. Now I put that one bolt up there just for like setting. I'm kind of like not gonna want this to drop on me. So I'm putting that one, I gotta remember this is the last one I gotta take, I put Loctite on. And I don't put a lot, it's just a little bit of blue Loctite. Um, not gonna hurt anything. Red Loctite and green Loctite are the ones I'm more concerned about. Those suckers will hold a bolt, in, a bolt in place. You need the ultimate bugger duggers to get them out. Until the flywheel, I mean the pressure plate and is fully bolted down, do not take off the centering, um, the alignment tool for this because it will drop the flywheel. This just heads up. I mean, it will drop the clutch. Sorry. And then what they provide are 11 millimeter uh, nuts. 
and what you want to uh, bolt them in and you want to do is again kind of a cross pattern tighten them all the way down by hand as best you can because as you torque this down to spec which is about 20 foot pounds um, it's going to get harder to push that uh, tighten down uh, down the road so just a heads up So we're not torquing anything to spec right now. We're just gonna get this uh, clutch all the way to the bottom. And as that happens, you're gonna see these teeth flatten out, okay? And that's why we don't torque anything to spec until this has made it and so the, um, the pressure plate has mated with the top surface of the flywheel. You'll know when you bottom out. You'll feel the, uh, the bolts hit the bottom, and that's it. Don't try to torque them down or give them a nice tug. Just, just once you feel the, the, the bolts hit the bottom, just, just leave it there. Don't go any further. We'll torque them down afterwards. Okay, now they're all pretty much flat and you'll notice this whole thing just got flat. That's pretty much where we need to be. The next step now is to torque these all down to 20 foot pounds and we are done with installing our flywheel, clutch, and pressure plate. So now, torque everything to 20 foot pounds. What I'm doing right now is verifying that I got them all down to 20. We're set, and then pull that out. And that is how you install your Spec Stage 3 clutch uh, with the A8 or 9 or 9 pound billet aluminum flywheel and pressure plate. Thank you guys um, for supporting this uh, pretty much this build for Patreon. Pinchiao's garage could not be possible because you guys are, uh, you know, because you guys exist, you guys are supporting it. So I'm thanking you guys so much for this build because I am super excited to who whoever's gonna win this car is gonna love this engine and this entire build. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart, Patreons and YouTube subscribers for being a part of my life and a part of this specific build because we are almost done. Tomorrow the turbo comes in. Um, so I'm excited for that and we're gonna start putting the turbo and slapping that on and getting that taken care of. So again, thanks for tuning in for this episode of Pinchao's Garage with the Stage 3 clutch install. And as always here, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. Peace out, everyone, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>